Hey everybody, in my last video I showed you how you can create calculated fields and pivot table using an if statement to separate out profits and losses. So if you have a data set that has you know profits and losses or gains and losses just in one column but you want to separate that out into the multiple, you can do that using a calculated field in a pivot table. If you want to check out that video, look at the, the previous one I released that goes over that. In this video, I'm going to go a step further and now put this into a chart and solve a, a pretty common issue you may run into when you're trying to, to do these multicolor uh, column charts. And that's that they don't always align um, in where you, where you want them to be. And I'll show you an example. So I'm going to go to insert and just select a, a standard 2D column chart. And I'm going to spread this out. And the one thing you'll notice... Um, right away is here you'll see that the the values aren't squarely in the middle of the month you see the losses um, in orange here are off to the right next to the month and the gains although they're going uh, up and they're blue they're off to the left so it's not really in the middle so if you're in a situation like this where you want to show both colors and you want to have it centered the key thing is not to have multiple multiple column charts and so the way to fix this is to change the chart type so that we're using a stacked one. And by using a stacked column chart, now you've got these values in the middle. Now, the, the key thing to be careful with this is you don't want to have to be in a situation where you've got multiple of these columns. It's either going to be a profit or it's going to be a loss. If it has the potential to be both, then, then it's going to be stacking them, which may not be what you want especially if you've got other other charts in here so this is this is a solution that you want to focus on if you if you want to plot positive or negative values where you're only going to have one value you don't want to be mixing in these these colors and then potentially adding them on top of another so that's where you you have to be careful as to what you're trying to accomplish because by by stacking them that makes sure that you've only got one one column chart because if we if we're not stacking it then excel is making room for both of them even though one of them may not be present so just the thing to keep in mind when you're deciding whether to use a stack chart or just a regular chart the benefits of a stacked one you know everything lines up nicely but obviously you're adding the one series onto another which may not be what you what you need but if you're only going to have one and it's just a matter of differentiating the colors then that's where a column chart may work well in a situation like this.